Have you ever wondered why fireflies glow? Or perhaps you've seen a pulsing neon ocean and wondered how the sea lights up. This phenomenon that allows nature to glow around us is called bioluminescence, and it can be found from the tiniest of plankton to the various types of fungi. But what exactly is bioluminescence? Bioluminescence is the production and emission of light by an organism. In the bioluminescence reaction, an enzyme called luciferase catalyzes the oxidation of luciferin, a molecule. This produces oxyluciferin, an excited state intermediate. As oxyluciferin relaxes into a ground state, it releases its excess energy in the form of light particles called photons, which is the visible light we see. Although this is the most common mechanism for bioluminescence, it can also occur without luciferase. Instead, it uses photoproteins, which are triggered by the presence of calcium ions to create the glow. This type of bioluminescence can glow for longer and are more energy efficient compared to the luciferin luciferase system. Certain types of sea shrimps exhibit this form of bioluminescence. While some organisms are born with this ability, others obtain bioluminescence through other means. Certain types of marine organisms, such as the bobtail squid, glow through a symbiotic relationship with the bioluminescent bacteria. The bacteria lives in the squid's light-emitting organ, the photophore, and produces luciferin and luciferase for bioluminescence. In return, the squid provides sufficient nutrients for the bacteria to live. Apart from being a beautiful phenomena, bioluminescence is crucial for the organism. Firstly, bioluminescence is used for mating. Fireflies control their glow by regulating the amount of oxygen that goes into their light-emitting organ so that they can court their mates through unique flashing patterns. Secondly, bioluminescence can be manipulated for survival. To avoid capture, the comb jellyfish releases flashes of light to startle predators while firefly squids expel bioluminescent ink on its attackers to give itself ample time to escape. Thirdly, bioluminescence is essential for communication between organisms, who utilize their rapid flashing to alert other friends of approaching dangers. The color of marine bioluminescence is usually green or greenish blue, because the short wavelengths allow bioluminescence to travel longer distances in the ocean. The applications of color bioluminescence are very intriguing. A type of bioluminescent protein called green fluorescent proteins has contributed largely to medical advancements. The GFP can make non-bioluminescent body cells exhibit a green fluorescence when exposed to blue to ultraviolet light, and it has been used to track cancer cells in invisible structures that cause neurological diseases, such as Alzheimer's. Furthermore, Bioluminescence can also be instrumental in fighting climate change by replacing electricity as a light energy generator and effectively reducing energy expenditure and consumption. With the rise of acidity of ocean waters caused by acidic waste discharge, bioluminescent organisms have been negatively affected. A team of scientists consolidated 49 studies on bioluminescent organisms from nine different phyla and revealed that as the pH becomes more acidic, light production is increased in some species, while other species demonstrate a decrease in their glow. This affects its ability to communicate effectively and lowers its natural survival instincts. Although some bioluminescent organisms seem to benefit from ocean acidification now, the long-term effects of this have yet to be discovered, and it can potentially be harmful to all bioluminescent organisms. It's amazing how bioluminescence is not just an important vital function for certain organisms, but is also the key to understanding genes and cell development inside the human body. However, aside from appreciating its beauty, we should also do our best to protect and conserve the most natural form of this brilliant chemical reaction.